Hi everyone, I'm going to work on an odd journal page and I've got here watercolor paper, 190 uh, grams per pa uh, page and I've got lots and lots of wipeout uh, paper towels. Now most of it I just wiped uh, all kinds of uh, leftover paint and uh, just added a little bit of spray from my and uh, homemade sprays that are from a uh, gel food coloring with water just so I will have more color on them and I'm just picking some uh, that I want to use uh, let's see I don't know I'll start with this and we'll have fun with it I'm going to uh, use them for my background I'm just tearing pieces and I want to start gluing them to my background not really planned not really caring uh, which uh, each piece is going I haven't separated a uh, the two plies for uh, each uh, paper towel I'm just leaving it as is so I'm also putting down a glue on top to seal everything I'm hoping to create some kind of a uh, colorful uh, background okay another piece Usually I won't use uh, this, uh, something this dark uh, in my background, but I am planning, that's the only thing that I, I do plan, is that I want to use a stencil on top, and then I can use something lighter. So we'll see. For now I'm just playing around. putting down quite a lot of uh, glue this is just plain white glue here we go well, let's put another piece And it seems that as, uh, when I tear it, uh, the, the two plies uh, separate, but I don't care. Sometimes you just need to put down something without, uh, without thinking without planning too much just do it and it's just a paper towel with leftover paint here we go moving to another color now I want something 
that will com will complement it, but won't be overwhelming. Maybe this. Let's try. What I like about this one is that I don't know if you can see, but when I wiped a color, I also had gold, so it does uh, give me a little bit of glimmer also. Not only the purple and the uh, pink that I have here. Well, I really like it. It does go well with this napkin, so I'm going to continue. And... Let's see, I hope I'm in frame. That's the always the problem when I'm working with uh, this kind of large piece to get in frame. Mm, I don't want it to cover. I'll take another piece. Yeah. When everything will be uh, dry, I will uh, trim the excess on the edges of my page. Okay, next. Yeah, here. Yeah. So I've got quite a work for me just uh, gluing down uh, pieces. So I'm going to do another piece just so you will see what I'm con that I'm continuing and then I'll go off camera, finish uh, laying down all these pieces and then we can continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So this is my background. As you can see, still wet. Just finished uh, laying all the pieces. It took me uh, like one more, one and a half more of this uh, paper towels, and now I need for it to dry completely. And I will trim uh, the excess, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'll be back once it's dry. I'm back <clears throat> so here is my background and I'm going to stencil on it and this is a stencil that I made it, this is a just acetate that I cut uh, shapes out of and it's not completely transparent because I sprayed it just so it will be easier for me to see what I'm doing so I've got here uh, three pearlescent uh, acrylic paints uh, uh, by Folk Art. I've got here pink uh, rouge, aquamarine, and plush purple. And I want to use it uh, on uh, this whole background. So I'm just going to put down a little bit of each color. Let's see how it goes. Um, just going to start putting down paint, and I'm changing the color so it will be a more interesting. And I don't need it to be a really a pop up I just needed to um, 
give the background more interest like when we are stamping around and adding a lot and lots of details to a background so basically I'm just a uh, continuing to build my background and I'm also a uh, you can say that I'm toning it down and bring it it bringing it all in <laughs> so there will be some uh, something that will connect a uh, this whole uh, pieces together and I practically uh, took uh, colors that will correspond with uh, the paper towels that uh, I used here we go this is one I'm gonna do another one here and as you've seen I'm just alternating between the colors it's not planned it's not there is no uh, like I didn't uh, don't think it too much that's it that's what I want to say <laughs> just don't think too much do your thing <laughs> I need more of the pink. I hope I'm in frame. What I do um, uh, try to uh, take notice is that if I have got pink here, I won't uh, use the pink on top of it. I'll just take like the blue and put it down here. And here where I've got the darker colors I will put the, uh, and I don't have pink then I will use the pink but as I said don't uh, overthink it just put down color and they practically uh, go together go and another one here so before I continue and this is boring to watch me a uh, continued doing the same thing over and over again I've got a stamp that I made after I made this uh, stencil I took craft uh, foam fun foam and just uh, cut this uh, shapes and made this stamp so it will be a, a little bit more um, will correspond with this stencil <laughs> I'm losing my words today so I'm going to uh, use the same uh, colors on this uh, stamp and I will go in and put it uh, in other places between this uh, stencil so that's what I'm going to do and I'll come back I'm back so I was planning on putting down here the stamp but then I decided that I'm just going to go over and continue with the same stencil and that's what I've done so here is my background and I still like the, the gold that is picking uh, underneath from uh, the paper towels I've used so I uh, now I'm I've decided that I'm going to use the stamp that I made but I'm going to use it with the gold so I'm gently with my finger putting down gold on my stamp and I'm going to stamp it randomly on my page now I'm let's see how it goes because uh, the paper towels have a lot of texture so I don't know how it will take and for now I'm thinking I'm not using the whole stamp just the two inner circles and I hope you can see what I'm doing here we go and let's hope for the best or maybe yeah I'll, <laughs> I'll put gold all on the outer circle also just decided It 
it's not going to be a fine print because of the texture but I'm hoping the gold will uh, give it an extra uh, detail and interest so here we go and putting pressure hope for the best <laughs> yay okay I like it you never know what will come up when you do things like that so here we go again putting down with my finger the gold paint on my stamp and here we go yeah as I said not exactly a fine print maybe I'll just do something like that moving it aside a bit more I like making a mess yeah so again just adding to the whole thing <laughs> I think another one and that would be it with all this gold yeah this is it for me so now I need for all this uh, to dry and then we'll continue but basically I've finished with my uh, background and now it's for the focal point and we'll see <laughs> I'll be back I'm back so while this is a uh, drying I want to work on my a uh, focal point and what I want written and I printed from uh, the internet this image of a book and uh, this words uh, write your own story and I didn't like that it's white so what I've done is I've taken this is a wood stain it's water based so it's not smelly and this sponge and I'm just going over and like tinting it so <laughs> it will be in this color and not the white that I don't like and I don't think will uh, go with my page so this is what I've uh, shown you uh, in another video how I'm like unticking or <laughs> things uh, making them a little bit more vintage I don't know what to call it uh, of course you can do it with tea you can do it with coffee this is how I'm doing it and I'll let it dry and I quite like this but I still feel like it needs an extra uh, color so I'm just randomly putting down <laughs> more strokes of the wood stain the wood stain is uh, from the hardware aisle in my cheap store so again something cheap that I've bought and it will probably last me a lifetime all this uh, can this is cherry and basically this is it now I just need for everything everything 
to uh, dry before I glue uh, this book and uh, the sentiment and this is it so I'll be back I'm back so <laughs> I glued down the pieces and then I thought that I want everything to look the same so I went with glue all over my page and I went now I'm waiting for uh, to dry the pieces uh, that I have here uh, gave me a little bit of uh, trouble because it's printer paper and once uh, the glue touched it it began to curl but I won so <laughs> that's good and I'm waiting now for everything to dry because I'm still want to um, do like uh, inking with black around my words and around my page and that would be the last uh, uh, for this page and I'll be back I'm back so I started inking around the edges and I first I tried with a makeup sponge and it wasn't quite enough because all the texture from the paper towels so I took a brush and just dipped it <laughs> to the uh, ink pad and went all around the edge and uh, inked it and now I want to go around my uh, words and, and I'm using q-tip just adding a little bit to the edges I couldn't ink it, ink it uh, before because it's just printer paper in, and it was very flimsy so I couldn't hold to it and ink the edges so I'm doing it now when it's already uh, glued down to my page here we go Basically, this is it. That's my page, and I quite like <laughs> how this turned out. You never know how it will uh, end. You start by gluing pieces of uh, wipe up uh, paint, and this is it. Okay. So that's it. That's my page. I'm leaving it before <laughs> I'm doing any more. Uh, sometimes I need to know where to stop I hope you liked it I hope it gave you some ideas to play around in your art journals uh, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now